Go. Gentleman leads in development. I'm going in for the kill. I'm doing it. Oh man, uh, it was a um, it was a time when when uh, like 15 pence had got arrested here in Atlanta. My old head, he was big slim, I little slim, and they um, and the uh, he came in the he came ooh, that day. He was like, man, if I had if I had a a, a, a Cadillac and a main backslap, man, I'd be out there, man. It's this it's some renegade hoes just running around town free. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, we, uh, he was, he, you know, he said, I put that sugar on it, man. And I, I took that. I was, I, um, you know, I always been good with words. So, you know, the tongue just, you know, I put that in there. I, you know, it, it's gotten me a lot of flack. But, you know, hey, the, the tongue kind of stick out sort of like Gene Simmons. You right. know what I mean? There you go. So it it, work, it works, you know what I mean? Like, hey, I, I, I work with it. So, you know, we, uh, we just made it easier for people to say STS. You know, with the whole, you know, the whole shit tongue slam, of course, it gives you the whole pimp correlation. But, you know, STS, you break it down, it's a Cadillac. So, you know, we still there. Exactly. It don't even matter. Exactly. We ride that thing on out. Poetry don't make, don't make the money like that. The dream, like my, you know, eventually I want to go back to doing poetry, you know, like hit, um, Hit like 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 uh, like tour colleges like you know yeah I think man I was like 19 20 years old touring colleges doing college like I don't know I spoke at, I did poetry at uh at um, um, um at Columbia in New York yeah and like the kids the same age as I was but I I didn't go to college I was you know it was like poetry is, is what I do man like I'm I'm always gonna do poetry but right. hip hop makes money. Yes, you know what I mean? it does. So it's like, let me get my money, and you know, I get, I get right, I get right. That's how I started. I was a poet. Yeah. Like, poetry is what, what got me. You know what I mean? Like, I met my old head, who really set me down and gave me the game at a, uh, at a, at an open mic. Oh man, uh, watching TV, uh, Law and Order, big Law and Order fan, um, reading books. Uh, Read magazines, everything. Just, just sitting there like I was. When I was young. My brother, like me, and my brother used to just, you know, he used to play with words. Like, you know, we just see how well you can flip a word or whatever. And it just, you know, it just stuck with me. Like, you know, you can, you can never take words away from me. So I'm, you know, that's my, that's my entertainment. Like, you know, if I'm bored, I'm gonna sit there and, and play with words. You know what I mean? Like, shit, now I play words with friends. So, you know, and, uh, the first thing I think is roll up, you know, and uh, after I roll up, I, uh, I, just, I usually, it, it, you know, if it's, if it's already, if it's a song that's already set up, you know, they already got the hook on it, then I just listen to the hook, see what it's about, and then I just go in, and join set, that just, you know, like, like me personally, if you listen to my music, you know I like to just go in, yeah. so they like, if, it, if the beat's just knocking, I don't give a fuck about a hook. I'm just gonna go in, so I just start rapping and just start playing with the words. Words just start coming, and it's like you know, once they start going, I can keep flipping words all night long. I just have to stop when it's if I feel it's appropriate to stop. You know what I mean? Now I had a, I had a brace around my waist that went around my leg, and like like. Sometimes, sometimes if, if you if you really know me and you see me all the time, you'll see that I do still have a limp. Yeah. Cause my leg ain't exactly straight no more. Like I still got I got twelve screws in my leg, so people wonder why I don't jump around on stage. <laughs> That's the reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like the uh, yeah man. I'm, I went to I went up there. I still had my sit on though. I had my I had my my full brim on, man. You know what I'm saying? We we was living that life, but the uh, the um. Yeah, man, I was, I was messed up, man. I yeah. really shouldn't have went, like, but it was Jay. What was I going to say? You know what I mean? I mean, how many people get to meet Jay? I was like, I, get, you know what I mean, I took a, uh, popped the Percocet, went on in there. Popped the Percocet, went mad ho. Yeah. Crazy. They, 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 they was telling me I was going to have to perform. He saw me. I was like, I was like, yo, I'll perform. Yeah. He was like, nah, man, you can just sit down, man. Listen to some music, man, you know? Yeah. The, uh... 
it was, it was cool. Like, you know, I, th I thought it was all good. A couple weeks later, uh, LA called and, uh, you know, bought us out the deal. We got paid good to, for it to just, you know, took about three meetings. Yeah. We got paid really good for to take three meetings. But I'm sure it was a learning experience, obviously. Man, it was, it was a, it was a crazy learning experience because at the time, like, I really didn't, like, it, it wasn't, like, hip hop was, was fun. It was something I did, but it wasn't like, like how I am now. Yeah. I would have, like, I didn't rap like I did then. Like, then I was, I talked about hoes and every, every 16. Right. So, you know, now it's. It's different. You get the, you know, you get the, the penmanship more. Now, oh uh, man, I, uh, I actually went to Memphis for a year. So I stayed in Memphis. I was trying to go to school. That lasted like two weeks. And then I went up to Philly to visit. I'd never seen a row home. I'd never been up north, man. I, I forget, I, I stayed. Yeah. And i uh, never been back to Memphis. I, uh, I, I fell in love with Philly. It's, you know, it just made me, like, it made me rap the way I do. Like, because, you know, I, I, like, if I stayed here, I would have grown up around, like, you know, I would have always had the influence of outcast or whatever, but it would have been a lot more Southern influence. But I think the blending of the Southern influence and the Northern just makes me who I am. Yeah. That's why, you know, you can put me anywhere and I can rap my way out of it, you know. Oh. Hearts in Atlanta, but you probably buried me in Philadelphia. Yeah. Uh, my manager, Rick Morales, uh, he's cool. He's he's working. He was working with with all of some stuff. He gave the CD to the to Roots manager. He liked it. Gave it the thought. Thought. Listen to it. He uh, hit he hit Truck Norfolk, who's in the Money Making Jam Boys. He uh, hit Truck. Truck was like. Um, I knew Truck a year before, and like the crazy thing is, I heard of the money, like, I heard of the name, the Money Making Jam Boys, and anything, and I wanted to be a part of it just because I wanted to tattoo the name on. <laughs> and uh, I ended up getting demand more on the back of my neck, which is ended up being a cover of my mixtape. But it was really supposed to be Money Making Jam Boys. Okay. That's what I really wanted there, but you know, demand more. Ooh. Oh man, it's a lot of weed smoke. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, roll up, check my media takeout, Mabasa, two dope boys, hype beast, heist and body. Shout out to two dope boys and music cartel family. And uh, uh it, like if I'm at home, I'ma start writing. Like once once I once I start looking at the internet and start seeing stuff, I just need to see stuff to spark my mind going and I'ma start writing. So pop Cause I, I, you know, it's what everybody knows. Yeah. So it's it's easy. So it's like it's like if I can take something like like uh, like a lot of people. I get a lot of people when I do um, when I say um, um 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 I love drama like One Tree Hill. It's like you don't expect a rapper to watch. No. I know drama like TNT. I know drama better than uh, Vince and E. I was about to say drama from Entourage. <laughs> yeah, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you yeah. just keep living that stuff. So it's like, and people will get it. Like, you know, because it's like, I do I do lines like, I had this one line where I, 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 um, I, I'm talking, I say, uh, uh, um, um, have, having dreams about flying away, uh, something about Socrates and stuff. Like, it's just, you know, it's like, it's like stuff like that. Everybody ain't gonna get, right? But they'll get the pop stuff. Yeah. So it's like you know. So that's for you. Basically. Yeah, like, yeah. I say like I say I say those lines for man. People get them. If they get them, then I be like yeah, you know. Cause you got you gotta give some of like that's why that's why I like spazzing. Cause if I spazz out for a good two minutes, everybody's gonna get something. Everybody's gonna get a little jewel to put in their pocket and take home with them. Right. <laughs> you hear a song called. Uh, <laughs> you hear a song called Bastard. Or keep you on your toes. Uh, the uh, the illustrious right now. We're working on the illustrious. We're in the studio right now, getting it done. It's gonna be like um, it's it's pretty much the statement project. It's uh, and the crazy thing is those two songs I just named are not on there. Right. But that's just how good the project is, and the other songs are. It's it's a very it's gonna have a, a lot of production from a man just count just uh, groove chambers, um, 
Alchemist is on there. Oh, wow. uh, um, um, my man Prentice and Prentice is on there. Um, man, it's 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 so much. It's it's a lot of people. What artists? On, on this one, we got uh, Big Crit. Big Crit is uh, we got drawing from Big Crit on there. Uh, oh man, Dice Raw mm -hmm. and uh, and my man uh, Kari. That's a, a very special record. I think I think that record. I always I tend to forget that record, but it's it's one of those records where you really get to see the uh, the sugar tongue slim in me. Right. And you know it's not it's nothing that's gonna that's gonna make a a woman go home and hate herself. She's gonna love love me <laughs> and herself afterwards. But you know it's a, it's a crazy record. Oh man, um, what should you know? you don't know. Um, if you don't, you, you should know that uh, I believe Mark Maneri is the best, is the next best designer uh, coming along in the game, shoe-wise especially. Shouts to Mark. Oh man, I want to say go! I just wanted to scream go! <laughs> I wanted to say man, after everything that kid did was go! Like, that, like that's what you stand with. Gentleman of Leisure and Development, you know. A, a big shout out to Fly Nigga Depot. That's a uh, as, as a company that uh, myself and man Jason Lee, aka Hip Hop Obama, Rick Morales are affiliated with Fly Nigga Depot. You know. I don't know, man. I think I just wanna 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 bomb on on, on bow ties but not need Bow ties but not need <laughs> Like I'm not against the bow tie. But I am against the bow tie if it's not needed. If it's not needed. Like yeah. if you ain't, if you can't have no reason to wear that bow tie. Yeah. Like don't put that bow tie on. You know, if you got on a pair of uh, 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 huckle, Huckleberry Finn shorts. <laughs> you know what if I mean? You, if you if you have a, 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 a one hand full full of fresh fruit and yeah. the other hand full of uh, zesty bean pies, wear your bow tie. Where, yeah, go ahead. If you're wear going to a, 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 a a black tie event, and you have you have a, a, a shawl collar, uh, a dinner coat on. <laughs> Wear a bow tie. Yeah. But if you come into the studio <laughs> and you had them Huckleberry fan shorts, I, I bomb on the Huckleberry fan shorts. Okay, no, I, no. I, I was approached by some fellas <laughs> at a show who, who gave a business card. They they was like, we we de we designed bow ties. Oh god! I, I looked at the fella had a had a, had a bow tie with. with Rhinestone like a Louis Vuitton shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, uh, 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 do I look like I'm going to wear a rhinestone bow tie? <laughs> That's just not my type of living. Uh, uh, SDS is gold.com. SDS is gold at Twitter. Um, Sugar Tongue Slim is the best rapper you never heard of. Ask anybody in Philly. Actually, Sugar is the best rapper in ATL. Ask anyone in Philly. Go, man. Go pick up the man more one, one point two, two. Uh, so music I'm going in for the